Hmm, paano nga ba ang pagsulat ng Lewis structure ng alkanes? For example, ethane or C2H6. So, ang uh, unang example po natin ng um, covalent compound na merong kumaga, more than one central atoms is this is represented by this formula. So, C2H6. So, ito po ay tinatawag natin na ethane. So, for ethane, um, ang challenge po sa atin is kailangan natin isulat or i-draw ang kanyang corresponding Lewis structure. So, pagdating po dito sa mga gantong examples na more like uh, na, na meron po tayong more than one central atom, medyo kailangan natin ibahin yung sistema at i-apply natin siguro yung mga nat ginawa natin kanina sa mga simpler examples where we only have one central atom. So, so in this particular example, mahalaga muna po na magbilang tayo ng total number ng valence electrons na uh, meron ang lahat ng elements um, comprising this uh, molecular formula. So, C2H6. So, we know from the electronic configuration of carbon that it has, so each carbon has four Elections, right? And since we have two carbons, you have to multiply this by two. So therefore, ang contribution, total contribution ng, electro, ng, ng carbon when it comes to valence electrons will be eight. In the case of hydrogen, we have one valence electron per hydrogen atom, but since we have six hydrogen atoms, so therefore, we have six electrons from um, hydrogen in total. So if we would um, combine these numbers, we have a total of 14 electrons. So tatandaan po natin yan. Itong number ng Valence, 14 valence electrons ang kailangan natin i-distribute to come up with the correct structure for ethane. So, ang pangalawa po nating step is we have to come up with plausible skeletal structure for ethane. So, when we say plausible um, um, skeletal structure, kailangan natin i-consider yung uh, some of the rules that we mentioned earlier. So first and foremost, kailangan yung carbon uh, typically is a central atom. So, um, and then secondly, since it's a central atom, yung hydrogen is always a terminal atom, pwede natin, there's a bunch of different ways by which we can arrange these elements as well. Ano pa yung dapat natin i-consider? So, um, nature loves symmetry. So we have to arrange the carbon and the hydrogen atoms in the most symmetrical way possible. So, Una po, so carbon, pwedeng we can put them side by side. And then, yung hydrogen atoms saman po, pwede nating ipaligid dyan. So, hydrogen dito, hydrogen dyan. So, since anim siya, paligiran natin ang kada carbon ng take tatlong hydrogen. Okay. So, ang sabi, ang, ang, uh, bakit ba natin yung binilang kanina na yung number ng valence electrons? So, binilang natin yung number ng valence electrons kanina in order for us to account for the bonds that are uh, required to form a structure. So, unang-una, ang gagawin po natin is, when we say skeletal structure, we have to first connect all the atoms with one covalent bond uh, for, 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 every, for, for every pair of elements. So, ang gagawin po natin is, Una, mag-form tayo ng carbon-carbon bond. So, that's already one election, one, one covalent bond. And then, lahat ng carbon, ikabit natin dun sa nakapaligid na hydrogen. Ang gagawin naman natin is, magbibilang tayo. Ilan ba ang covalent bonds na na-form natin? So, we had formed, ito, mahalaga po na marunong tayo magbilang dito, ano? So, one, this is the first carbon, this is the carbon-carbon covalent bond, and then, 2, carbon-hydrogen bond, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we formed 7 bonding pairs or 7 covalent bonds. So, 7 bonding pairs times 2 electrons per bonding pair would give you a total of 14 Election. So, ibig sabihin, in order for um, ethane to form this way, naga, nakagamit siya ng 14 um, electrons. And that corresponds to the available number of valence electrons. So, kapag dumating po kayo dun sa ganong point na nagamit nyo na lahat ng um, valence electrons available out of 2 carbons and 6, and 6 hydrogens, 
that could be an indication na baka, oh, baka nagawa nyo na yung, um, yung Lua structure ng maayos. So, tatanggalin ko po itong mga labels na ito para mas makapagbilang tayo ng maayos ng electrons around each element. So, tingnan muna natin yung uh, in the case of hydrogens. So, in the case of, of all the hydrogen atoms in this particular example, each of the hydrogen has two electrons. Is this a stable configuration for, for the hydrogen atoms? Like in the structure, the answer is yes. Right? Okay, now, magbilang tayo ng electrons around carbon. Ilang bonds meron sa carbon? One, two, three, four. So, four um, bonding pairs around carbon. Meron bang lone pair? Wala. So, four uh, bonding pairs multiplied by two. That means na kada carbon atom natin is merong eight electrons each. So, this, this is the lowest structure for ethane. So, you have four covalent bonds around carbon. And again, does this satisfy the requirement? So, you know, electron counts, yes, octet for, for the carbon, uh, doublet for uh, the, the, the hydrogens, and then symmetric yun structure. Um, all hydrogen atoms are terminal atoms. So, tatandaan yun, ang hydrogen atom is always a terminal atom. And then carbon, whenever they form compounds, it is um, often a central atom.